Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and another episode of Acoustic Guitar Pickups. Today's pickup is the Trance Amulet M. Hang on for a second, haven't we done this one before? Yes we have. Let me tell you the backstory quickly and then we'll go on to the review. I got hold of a Gibson Sheryl Crow guitar a while ago and I reviewed the Trance Amulet pickup in that guitar. I was fairly impressed with it. I was not as impressed as I thought I was going to be, and I think that's because I was very much overhyped by the pickup. I'd heard such incredible things about it. And a few people pointed out to me that in that review, I was playing with the tone control in the sound hole, and I wasn't finding the sweet spot. And apparently the sweet spot of that tone control is very important with this pickup. Now this can be important with other pickups too. For example, the Bags Anthem has that control inside that you adjust with the small tool they give you. That also has a sweet spot for me as well, so that's fine. I thought I would revisit the pickup because I have this D28 from Maury's Music, Coldell, Pennsylvania. This guitar was sent to me for review and he installed the pickup himself. So quick disclaimer, Maury Rich is a friend of mine, but I wouldn't be featuring this again unless I thought it was worth it. And I've also sent some recordings of this to fellow acoustic guitar enthusiasts who say he's done a very good job of the install. So I will say that some people have told me this pickup is hard to install, some say it's easy to install. I think any pickup that has to go inside the guitar and stick to the top of the guitar where there's potential for different locations for the sensors is going to have that potential challenge. Where something like an undersaddle pickup is much easier because all you can do is put it under the saddle, right? You can't really mess that up. So I do think there's some skill here. I also think that maybe he's dialed in the two pickups which you can do inside the guitar. I think he's dialed those two in for that sweet spot and that's why this sounds a bit better to me. But do remember, if you listen to the old review, that's a different guitar, a different install and a slightly different version of the pickup as well. That's the one with the tone controls attached. So do bear that in mind, make your own decisions, but I certainly thought it was worth revisiting this again. I do think it sounds very good. I still think it has the same pros and cons for me that I felt before, but I want to feature it again on the channel to give you a chance to, to try it again. Let me know if you use this pickup or if you use something similar in the comments below and what your thoughts are. Okay, so to recap, this is two pickups on the soundboard here inside the guitar. This version, like I said, has no sound hole controls. That's one of the pros for me. The thing is very clean. All you see is this jack here. You don't see anything inside. If you look very carefully, you can see the battery bag here. The cables are not even touching the edges of the guitar. It's very clean. There's nothing under the saddle. All that for me ticks the boxes. The battery life is also very long, which is important for me. I don't mind having a battery in my guitar, but I want the battery life to be a long time, and this is a long time. So I'll show you some pictures of the install inside. You can see it's very minimal. It's very clean. Again, there's no cables touching the sides of the guitar. For me so far, all those boxes are ticked. And bearing in mind the fact that it picks up the top of the guitar, we do get a lot of body sound, which is great if you want it and if you're looping. If you don't want it, there's as always potential for feedback, so do bear that in mind. And there's nothing under the saddle, which many people like. They like the idea of having nothing under their saddle, so the saddle is making direct contact with the top of the guitar. This is still a pickup, it's not a microphone. I hear there's a version coming out that will allow you to attach a second source, like a magnetic or even potentially a microphone, to this pickup. For me, once I start adding other pickups to pickups, I may as well just stick with something like the Anthem. So I like the very minimal idea of this while being active, because other pickups like the K&K &K and the Dazzo while they can have an active preamp installed as well, they tend to be passive, don't they? Whereas this one tends to be active. There's also other versions as well. There is a version that will run off phantom power and therefore you don't need a battery in your guitar. But I think this is great because it's all in one. Whatever you plug into will sound the same because it's got that active preamp. It's got the potential as well to blend or manipulate the bass and treble pickups for a different kind of sound if you need to. And like I said, I think this has been balanced pretty well. So let me play the guitar through the microphone. This is a D28 with non-scallop bracing, so it does have quite a mid-hump to it. I feel like maybe an HD28 scallop brace guitar might suit this style of pickup better because you won't have such a harsh mid-range, which these pickups can sometimes have anyway. It would naturally reduce that without the need for EQ. But just bear all that in mind, and let's get on with the demos. So the first thing you'll hear is my Neumann 
and just the guitar, no pickup, just so you get a feel of what the guitar sounds like in the room. Okay, so that was just the microphone by itself, just that single microphone. And now I'm gonna mute all the microphones and you're just gonna hear this pickup going straight into my interface. And there's no processing at all. You're just hearing a direct, raw, dry signal. It sounds like this. Okay, so like I said at the start of the video, that's exactly how I feel. I feel like it's the same as the version I tried in the Gibson. I think it might sound slightly better, but is that the guitar, the install, or a combination of both things? I do think, despite having a different install, different guitars, it still sounds similar. It still has the same qualities, doesn't it? The different guitar and install doesn't change the quality and the overall personality of a pickup it just may sound slightly different like I said I really hear that strong mid-range that I hear in a lot of these pickups that stick here because there is a lot of mid-range coming off that part of the guitar and when you don't have the scallop bracing of course you get even more mid-range and even more of a kind of stiffer sound so I definitely want to EQ that out and you can easily do that in some previous videos I've actually done that in the video it's very easy to do you just cut the mid-range maybe boost the treble and bass slightly you can certainly shape the sound, but like I said, if you start with a guitar with scallop bracing, you can have more of a scooped kind of sound off the bat. So you might want to factor that into your considerations if you're looking for a guitar and having this pickup installed into it. But let me just try the body sounds and a few other things here. Something else that I noticed about this pickup is that it's extremely quiet. The noise floor is really low. There's no noise at all. And I've noticed with some other pickups, especially multi-source pickups, they can have some background noise. Now, nothing that would really bother me, and I'm quite particular about this stuff, nothing that really bothers me or is a problem, but if you're using in-ears and playing direct 
or if you're really particular about this stuff, it's really nice to have that clean sound. It's also got a ton of headroom, like compared to an anthem, there's about another 12 dB of headroom on here, like of gain in the built-in preamp. So this stuff is really nice. It definitely ticks the boxes on those things as well. Okay, so what did you think? My opinions haven't really changed that much. I do see why people like this pickup. I'm very used now to having a microphone in my guitar. I really like that for what I do. I think my ear has gotten used to it. It certainly picks up more top end and more information than just a pickup does alone. Having said that, I really appreciate the fact that it's such a minimal install and the guitar looks so clean. I think that's great. And I definitely think this is worth checking out. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this. Also, let me know if you use this pickup and please let me know as well what pickups you're using right now. In the future, I hope to do a big roundup of all my thoughts on all this stuff. So it'd be really useful to know what you're using out there on your gigs right now. Until next time, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and ring the bell if you're new here. And thank you to Maury's Music in Coldale, Pennsylvania for let me try the pickup again. I will put a link below to his website. If you've got any questions about the trance, I seriously recommend you contact Maury and ask him directly or contact the company direct, of course. Thanks for watching. Take care and be well. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.